Shocking video circulating on social media tonight showing a North Syracuse Junior High School student being slapped in the face by a classmate on the school bus. And our inbox here at News Channel 9 has been flooded with complaints over the last couple of days from concerned parents, students, and former students who say the punishment for this type of incident wasn't enough. News Channel 9's Nicole Somavilla joining us now with more. I know you've been looking into this all day, Nicole. Uh, first of all, let's, let's get to the district's response to this. Yeah, Rod and Christy, a lot of parents, of course, very concerned. And the district immediately sent out an email to parents on Monday night right after they found out about that incident saying, quote, appropriate disciplinary action was taken. Now, before we show you the video, we do want to warn you, you may find it troubling. The district calls this video, quote, incredibly disturbing. It shows the moment a North Syracuse junior high school student was slapped in the face on a bus by another student. After learning about it, the district sent this email to parents of junior high students Monday night, saying in part, law enforcement has been contacted and the district is actively investigating the incident. Then on Wednesday morning, another email from the superintendent, this one sent to the entire district, saying in part, upon learning of the incident, law enforcement was immediately contacted and the district began an investigation. Please be reminded that any incidents of harassment and bullying will not be tolerated and will be addressed immediately. The DA's office tells News Channel 9 a student was suspended. Though the district is unable to discuss the specifics of the action it took or if other students have been disciplined, the district did, however, tell us it's worked with the families of all students involved and reiterated its intolerance for these types of incidents. An investigator with the DA's office also tells News Channel 9 the incident was reported to the junior high's resource officer by the bus driver, and school administrators are dealing with the incident through family court, so no criminal charges will be filed. I've also been in touch with DA Bill Fitzpatrick, who calls the district's response a testament to the school resource officer's system, saying proper protocols were followed. Christy? Great job getting answers, Nicole. Thank you. We have